down and compare my Taylor Big Baby, which I love this guitar. I, I, if you've been to my channel, you know I love my Big Baby. <clears throat> had a GS Mini, got rid of it, kept the Big Baby. That's how I feel. I mean, everybody's different, but used the proceeds, uh, part of, or all of the proceeds, and plus from something else to buy this uh, 314 Taylor uh, mahogany back cutaway electric. And so now I'm going to do a little comparison. For those of you maybe that have a big baby and you're, you're like me, you were ate up with Taylor and you wanted to get the 314. I went, I went to the Guitar Center and I filled out a credit out and I got good credit, but they said $1,000 all you could get. And of course they're uh, $1,500, 1800 new, so I waited and found this one, which is a 2007 Light New for 800 bucks at a guitar repair shop. And it's hardly been played. It's like new came with a hard case, and I've, I'll tell you, I fell in love the age of it and the mahogany back. It's it's really something. I'm gonna always keep this. This is close to my heart. So I'm gonna do a little something I made up myself. This is I don't know where it came from. I was just playing one day, and it came out. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Just for giggles, I'm going to pick up the, uh, the old Sigma 1983 DR7, slamming it back inside. And I used to think this was the bomb. This was better than that and all this. But since I got the 314, I'm, I'm thinking about getting rid of it. But it's still a good guitar. I just, it's, I don't know. Mustangs and Chevrolet sound different. Some people like a Mustang motor sound, some people like the Camaro motor sound. I think that's pretty accurate in guitar land as well. You've got your Taylors and your Martins and each one sounds different. And you got different uh, levels of high performance you can get into, but basically this is more like a Ford to me and that's the Taylor's more like a uh, Corvette and that's more like a Camaro. So 
This is my stain.